I'm Casimir Jones, and you would not believe the morning I've had. We went out for brunch, didn't we, Casimir? <laughs> so summon like a stroke of lightning or a storm of some kind. What? <laughs> <laughs> Just as you do, you Damn. know. This game is broken. <laughs> Versus a target with whom I have an intimate relationship. Oh, okay. Because so most of Volusport. Barnaby gets about. Barnaby doesn't need to do any more flashing, mate. <laughs> <laughs> so you do remember brunch! Which allows me to choose a poison to which I become immune and push myself to secrete it through my skin or saliva or exhale it as a vapour. <laughs> but, <laughs> but then I thought that would probably ruin, you know, social gatherings, etc. We call ourselves the, um, the Illuminati. It's sort of a joke. <laughs> Um, I don't think it'll catch on, but you know, we set this thing up recently, just a bunch of drinking buddies. Um, the idea is really to, you know, control the world, maybe pull the strings, you know, but we're, at the moment it's just it's three fellows, really. It's me, Squiffy, and a couple of others. But um, yeah, yeah, it's not going well so far, but you know, it could catch on, you know, give it a couple of hundred years and we'll probably be running the show. <laughs> Have we ever said in, in canon that Squiffy's head is a pyramid with a single eye? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was assumed, mate. Yeah. <laughs> And he says, Edvard, Ed, uh, wait, Edvard? No, he says, Hello. <laughs> he says, Edvard, yes. I like you much better than Barnaby. Hey, you're so snappily oh, sure. Thank you. I'm just teasing Barnaby. <laughs> Edvard, Barnaby Such can't take a joke. Yeah, I know, it's terrible, isn't it? Anyway, another drink, old man. Yes. <laughs> Squiffy, are you, telling me, are you telling me gardeners can read? <laughs> well, I assume the gardeners have their own servants who... Read the. Ah, yeah, it makes much more, yeah, much more. Much more. I assume sense, everyone yeah. has servants. Yeah. yeah. Well, what if we combined a bit of lovely crime with a bit of lovely opera? Well, that sounds perfect, actually, doesn't it? We'll steal the opera. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we like to party. We like we like to party. Mm. That's the that's the big aria in the. Is that second. the one where they go back to the island? We're going to Nita. Yeah, you remember. Yes, you remember. yes, yes. yes. Mm. It's beautiful, transcend transcendent. Inviting people to come and steal the gem. Well, of course, it presupposes that all of the criminals in the city have servants with which to have this. Leaf Who are reading this out to them? Yes. Do they not? Do they, they not? I've spent six months, mate, trying to explain this to you. They do right. not. Right. It was. It was. No, it was a no, was it? It right. was a no. Gosh. The first. I'll time. commit it to memory. Yeah. Yeah. I'll commit it to memory. Mm. Well, heisting this gem is the plan. Mm -hmm. I mean, um, there was a lot of prepared backstory for it, so it seems like that's. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> now we're going to do something else. Be, I mean, you can do whatever you like. <laughs> Let's make the prepared. opera about bees. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness, I should like put ghosts in and make it Phantom of the Opera. <laughs> <laughs> There's just a sort of like, the, the B version is just a kind of, all the instruments it's just kind of drone. It's the B side. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so. You want to walk up and spill water on it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'd in be front like of a, the whole opera. <laughs> but I'd be in all in black. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't be there. Effectively invisible. <laughs> I like this plan. Yeah, all in black, but <laughs> crucially not invisible. <laughs> you do well, it on a blackout stage the theater, with a mate. spotlight. <laughs> That's true, the audience will be under the theatrical spell. And you will be working in the lighting department, I'm just saying. Exactly! <laughs> it's that or we lead a horse onto the stage and wait for it to lick the card clean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Look, the horse is doing it. <laughs> Let's see where he's going with this. <laughs> we make what they call in the theatre business... A scene. <laughs> we if and he, exactly. he he can't buy her love. Is that is that really how it goes? He he thinks he thinks doesn't he can't. Very, Barnaby, but her heart belongs to the to the to the young to the young uh, page. High voice. Doesn't and sound very realistic foot. because presumably yeah. the page is quite quite poor. Oh, so sure. Yeah, he's he's very he's very poor. He's always um, dressed in rags life. in mm. most most portrayals. Yes, this is my problem with the opera. It's not realistic at all. No. Mm. What about if that. we have a big thing that comes down? over the stage that says you have been punked by the hobby horses <laughs> officially uh, or what if i put a spirit <laughs> bottle in the middle of the fake ruby and it a ghost in the shape of a hobby and a horse ghost comes out and a ghost comes out and then the card comes down and says you've, you've been punked, punked, punked by the hobby horses and we're banking on the police not knowing who the hobby horses are but yes. the secret society having Correct. a ways and means to figure yeah, it out to figure it out yeah 
Because they're hooked into the underworld, unlike the police. The police are useless. All right. How about with regards to your neighbours? P.S. Punked. <laughs> You'll have all of Volusport trying to figure out what the word punked means. <laughs> I'm trying to make it a thing. Come on. Come on, folks. Lilith, yes, you got into... You are now currently head to toe in black. Uh, in black For sort a of, change. In, <laughs> from yeah, your usual colourful wardrobe. <laughs> Who's carrying the rock? Who's carrying our version of the stone? Did we all leave the rock at home? <laughs> no, I have, oh, no. I have, I, have the, I have the rock. I have the rock. I have the rock. I have the rock. Cool. I have the gem. So who's... who? Someone needs to take it because I'm going to be up in the lighting booth. Oh, right. Okay. Well, it's probably... um, That's probably one for old ghosty. All right. Well, you need to find her then. <laughs> She's right behind you. Hello. Ah. <laughs> Joe, good to see you. You're all dressed in black. Lilith, we've established that you are wearing a skin tight, all black mm -hmm. uh, cotton thing. Mm -hmm. Where is the gem going? <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't sing at all, Barnaby. Can I call you Barnaby? No, you can't actually. No, uh, Mr. Fortescue will do. Um, yeah. you're, oh, you're one of Ms. Morland's caller who wishes to pop by and compliment her on her performance. I Correct, get, yes. I get mm. it. Mm. I get it, Barnaby. Um, Mr. Mr. Fortescue, sorry. Never happier when, than when throwing a giant lever to make exactly. something sparky happen. Exactly. Only, the only <laughs> problem is is that you have been told a few times that you're not allowed to shout, It's alive! When you call this one, is... I can do it in my mind. <laughs> exactly. Can't stop me doing that. They can't stop you doing it in your mind. Uh, yes, show. I'm in the box. Uh, in one yeah, of the you're boxes. In, you're in the yeah. box. box of wine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, you, you watch the action unfold. Uh, he's sort of in a wearing a fairly elaborate dragon costume. It's kind of sort of dirty yellow in colour and kind of has like papier-mâché scales. It looks quite low rent actually for, for a production of this. Sounds pretty high quality to me. <laughs> <laughs> At a moment's notice and then with a theatrical flourish I grab the handle and then in my mind I scream IT'S ALIVE! <laughs> and I throw the, the switch. Can we make a can we make a roll for how how well you intuit Whether the I twist recovery? His head the, the recovery <laughs> position <laughs> seems simple to us but like it's you know yeah you're yeah. right you're right it's not yeah. intuitive is it yeah. yeah put them on their side with a hand like that and then as you walk <laughs> off you kick their head like a stationary football <laughs> <laughs> where's Bertie where's Barrel Bertie he's indisposed there's no time quick get me on there you have been an absolute lifesaver tonight <laughs> sorry I didn't catch the name oh uh, <laughs> Casimir Jones <laughs> <laughs> Casimir Jones thank you <laughs> I will never forget the name the page Chauncey will ruin my plans. I'll send him down the river in a barrel. Aha! And to now to pick up the barrel and enact my wicked scheme. And he spins round and sees you, Casimir, and goes, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see nothing. And then I'm going to wink at the audience and I'm going to leave again. Cool, cool. Huge peals of laughter from you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Relieved to have something entertaining. Finally, some comedy in this thing. That's um, the plan. I taught him everything your... he knows. <laughs> you have made your stage debut, and I will say it went down so well that uh, it is going to feature in the reviews. <sighs> and if he thinks you're shifty, you're shifty. So spill it. Uh, do I look shifty to you? Do I look like the shifty sort? A little. Why do? Why? I mean, why are you even holding me up here? Really? He'll... Well, he's asleep. Don't disturb him. He needs his beauty sleep. <laughs> Quite an ugly fellow. Actually. Mr. Barnaby, this squiffy character isn't exactly sounding terribly real to me. You mean to tell me that you came to see this boring, <laughs> terrible opera? <laughs> yes, because I'm a close personal friend of Miss Morland, and that's what friends do. They go and watch the boring, tedious nonsense that their friends are doing. To be supportive. That is true. I've done Amdram. <laughs> <laughs> that is fair. Did Bill come and see it? Did Billy Braces come and see your Amdram? Of course Bill came to see it. Well, quite, exactly. You loved it, didn't you, Bill? Bill, <laughs> it, it takes a sec Bill a second too long, but he goes... <laughs> <laughs> there you go. You understand the bond of friendship. Everyone else is kind of like going like this, and you kind of go like, and, and just sort of 
wander out into the middle of the stage and like over towards the barrel and as the barrel is kind of carried across the stage you just kind of crab walk next to it like that going splishy splashy splishy splashy splishy splashy yeah. From the wings, I see this, and I'm like, "Well, now I know which one Lilith is." <laughs> when she I goes, like, when she gets off stage, the, <laughs> just tilt the lights away yeah. from, from her, <laughs> so it's not quite so obvious. Grab her arm, or yeah, <laughs> I'll just sort of yeah. I'm sorry, Lilith, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm just I saw you on stage, <laughs> and immediately I knew it was you. Shit, shit. Uh, <laughs> Celia, Celia. <laughs> Listen, I, I've got some information. You'd have known right. it was her if you'd listened to any of the briefings we had before we went on. This, <laughs> no, this is the plan. Yeah, but the thing I, is, we're all uh, in They class. all look the same, so I need so to know which track. one is her. So, yeah. Um, so I mean, Barnaby didn't even know Lilith was coming. He did not listen to any of That's definitely... <laughs> I've seen, seen that crab walk opera. before. I've seen <laughs> that crab walk before. Barnaby's delighted to find that someone else is trying to steal the gem. <laughs> this is going to make things a lot easier. <laughs> anyway. You, you commit that to memory, you probably know where you're going, and um, I'm mm-hmm. going to go and try and find uh, Zilla and Casimir. They're around here somewhere, aren't they? Uh, yeah, they, they're behind a lot of <laughs> Oh! <laughs> yeah. Why do you always do that? Fine. All right, well, you all know the plan now. Saves me repeating it. I would like uh, to propose some work with a the toast? sandbags. I'm up for that. Oh, uh, okay. no. Sandbags. Oh. Aren't you making out with Emily? I will be, yeah, very yeah. shortly. Yeah. Just warm up your lip area. Okay. And- yeah. We'll Barn- Barnaby's, Barnaby's all set. But, um, yeah, basically, oh. I would Go like... On, I, I can't talk to any of them, can I? No, um... You can talk. You can you can signal it in lights. <laughs> have you rigged up any, <laughs> up any you kind of automation? In... We agreed a code, a Morse-style code. Mm. Okay, well, through a series of Morse code blinks of the lights... Uh-huh. That flashback uh-huh. we all learn. Yeah. <laughs> flashback we all learn the new Morse code. It's not it's been a the training heavy. code. Yeah. Flashback yeah. I didn't learn it. Yeah. Okay. Of course well, I didn't learn it. Flashback. Well, Barnaby, take one stress it. for your I didn't learn it flashback. <laughs> <laughs> Plan B. Lady fake Fienge. Yeah. Persuade Emmeline to take her costume off. We don't persuade her. We well, do we persuade her? I, I mean, could. Are, you gonna, are you going to persuade her out of her costume? <laughs> Maybe. All right, okay. Um, what we do in the privacy of our secret hiding spot is our own business. Okay, Quite Barnaby frankly. will get Emmeline naked and we'll steal her clothes. Not necessarily then, naked, I guess it's just the Just out of the dress. Flashback, flashback, okay. I don't know what she wears under her costume. <laughs> A uh, second, more elaborate costume. <laughs> All well, the other parts does costume in case she needs to yeah, understudy for anyone. You have a commanding view of the whole backstage area. It's Can we see sort of... into Barnaby's makeout area? No! You cannot see into Barnaby's makeout area. But it's probably area, no. visible from the catwalk. <laughs> no. I'm, engineer- no I'm going to spend my entire time up here engineering some sort of mirror <laughs> so that we can see into Barnaby's makeout area. <laughs> what is wrong Which with you people? Voyeurs! Mouth, I guess. Voyeurs. What? Mm. Uh, and she sort of sashays over towards you and uh, puts the pipe suggestively in your mouth. Um, and I think at this point we'll cut it outside. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. Thinking about the age rate. <laughs> <laughs> Tasteful fade to black. <laughs> uh, and you're going to land on Chauncey. Oh, no. Of course, you being dressed all in black to the audience, it looks like Chauncey <laughs> just collapses. <laughs> uh, I switch um, on a giant spotlight that I set up earlier that is on Swiffy <laughs> in the audience. <laughs> <laughs> Great, brilliant. Okay, um, on the sleeping form of <laughs> Algernon Squiffy, of Algernon Squiffy, who wakes up. <laughs> Hello, am I an opera? <laughs> the audience is hushed. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Squiffy stands up. Um. <laughs> there once was a woman from Brightstone <laughs> who found she was unusually, and he launches into an absolutely obscene limerick um, that is completely unrepeatable. Here, he gets uh, he gets right up to the last 
few words the comic payoff to this ex- extremely ribald limerick when <laughs> he is uh, bodied to the ground by a few security guards. <laughs> um, He's very rich and it's his birthday! <laughs> <laughs> we weren't told! You weren't told! Birthday? You didn't get the memo? No? It's, that's Algernon Squ- Squiffy... Something. Squiffington. Squiffington. That's Algernon Squiffy Squiffington. <laughs> Everyone knows him. He's always he he's patronising the next two seasons of the opera if he, we let him do his limericks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so should we should we keep the lights Just on? Let him, let him because finish. He's been Just... beaten up quite savagely <laughs> now. Is this <laughs> his birthday surprise? Or? That was. That's part of it. You know these aristocrats. I mean, they're into some weird stuff. They're into some stuff, aren't they? There's only one solution now, and that is for Barnaby, the only one in the room with Emmeline, <laughs> to put on the costume and continue <laughs> the f- opera. You must take on the role of Lady Fienge, Barnaby. You're the only one who can do it now. All right, I'll take one for the team. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Have we got time? <laughs> yes, of course, darling. Of course, darling. I mean, it sounds like they've got... Did I hear something outside? I couldn't yeah. hear over the smooching. Uh, it's Your probably... lips were so warmed up. <laughs> yeah. It was it quite was loud. so loud. <laughs> well, you really use every part of the mouth, Barnaby. Might I try your dress on? Whatever you're into, Barnaby. It passes the time. Yep. Yeah, so she... Are we going to keep kissing now we've swapped clothes, or...? Yes. In a, in a moment, but when you go back on, don't you think it would be a wheeze? In the final final scene, um, if I played you and mimed along to your singing, don't you think that would be amazing? Yes, well, I can't sing, can I? But you could stand behind... A great reason to not go on stage in this opera. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, but... But the wheeze. But the wheeze. <laughs> she pushes you against the wall. You're here for the ruby, aren't you? What makes you say that? Everything that's happened <laughs> between you and me in the last 48 hours or so. Uh, well, Listen, no, Barnaby. Uh, yes? I want in. Okay. D- d- tell me more. Okay. Uh, how about this? Um, mm. 50% of the profits from whatever the hell you do with that thing Right. Or in the next three seconds, I scream very loudly. Mm. <gasps> One, yeah. two... No, 50% sounds entirely reasonable. We have an accord. Tremendous. Mm. Uh, get out there. It's your big number. And she, um, <laughs> she opens the door and boots you out and closes it behind her very quickly. Lady Fienge, I <laughs> see my love. Lady Fiange! And he <laughs> gives you a huge embrace. He's alive! Uh, and suddenly every, lo- loads of other people just appear from the wings and they all start mm. dancing and they're, they're mm. singing a, a, a chorus. It's a, a beautiful en- ensemble piece. Mm. Uh, and, and behind you, Barnaby, you're a little bit obviously confused by all of this, but you, like trees and st- like a wooded glade is kind of like kind of kind of brought in mm-hmm. uh, and suddenly someone playing a vicar is there in front of you and you are possibly legally wed to Chauncey <laughs> uh, all this time you are kind of gold fishing while <laughs> like Shattershield begins like falls to his knees and says Lady Fienge, I can still make you happy. And by happy, I mean rich. Let me kill Chauncey now. And he makes a good point, actually, though. <laughs> Where to be here? <laughs> Is what you say, Barnaby, out loud, but it's drowned out by the singing behind you. Um, Shut a shield if thy loves this gem so much, then swim for it. And I Ooh. take the necklace off and I wang it into whatever is representing a stream. A whole bunch of people dressed all in black (laughs) going like that in the middle of the the stage from the the point where the gem was I feign surprise. (laughs) There it is. (laughs) Hobby horses. And then I set off all the pyro. (laughs) (laughs) Like that. Um, Yeah, they're supposed to go off uh, at the end of the bows. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Glitter cannons. <laughs> <laughs> Up on the catwalk, 
Kaz a bit. Kazmir's now hammered. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And I just want to pass the bottle to, to Zilla and be like, I hate the arts. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. I mean, either. This sounds like the perfect time for an avalanche of ball bearings. <laughs> <laughs> An avalanche of ball bearings, yeah, underneath all the security guards. They're driven up, they're falling. <laughs> uh, you have met the brief yeah. loud yeah. Yes. chaos and leaving your calling card 